Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride back again with another video. And today I'm doing a flip through of my last bullet journal that I used through the second half of 2021. I used my Archer and Olive collab notebook that I designed. This is the cloth sunrise notebook. And as you can see, it is pretty chunky. There is a lot in here. <laughs> can't quite close the same way it used to, but I'm very excited to show you what's inside. And Chewy is too, aren't you buddy? <laughs> so let's open this up and I'll show you all of my spreads. So here is the inner cover yet again. And I still love this theme. I love this color scheme and the wiggly lines and the circles. I mean, as you'll know, if you saw my new bullet journal setup, I was inspired by this theme to do something kind of semi-similar in my new bullet journal. I'm still such a big fan of this. And of course, I still love this inner cover that flips open to show the grid spacing spread. So useful when I'm setting up new spreads and I love being able to use this inner cover for something really practical. Chewy, you're kind of putting a shadow on my book. Do you want to lie down? Yeah, good boy. <laughs> All right, so flipping through the rest of my pages, we of course have the cover page and my quote for the second half of the year, stay patient and trust your journey. Then we have my future log, which I didn't use a huge amount this year. Not a lot going on, but hopefully 2022 will be better. We've got my Kanban board, which I've talked about a lot recently. And as you can see, Plantmas is still in full swing, currently filming this video. I have a couple more videos to film, a couple more that I'm in the midst of editing, and then Plantmas will be over and there won't be any more content until the new year. My waiting on and want need gifted spread were pretty heavily used in the last six months, I would say. Tracking items that I ordered online and when they're expected to be delivered and when they were actually delivered. And then of course, things that I want, things that I need, and things that were gifted to me here. Then we have my work to-do list and my personal to-do list here. Lots of things on here. I got a lot done, actually a lot more on my personal to-do list this time around than my work to-do list but still a lot left to do. So if I don't complete all of these by the end of the year, I'll do a little review to see if they still need to get done. And if so, I'll move them on to the corresponding spreads in my new bullet journal. Then we have my period tracker and my date night spread here. I always love to see a filled out Bye, Chewy. <laughs> I always love to see a filled out period tracker. There's something so satisfying about it. The days that I'm on my period are shiny and gold. And I also have some symptoms tracked and ovulation days there. It's really cool to see the patterns that way. And then of course my date night spread, tracking all of the date nights that I go on with my husband. I have a blank spread here. I left a couple pages just in case I had another spread that I really wanted, but I didn't end up coming up with anything. So that just stayed blank. Then we move into July. I really loved this theme, super minimalist. Love this color scheme again. My calendar and this is, I believe the first time I ever did these circle habit trackers, which I've really enjoyed and I've kept using them since then on and off. Then into my weeklies, of course, these are pretty simple as always, just organizing my day-to-day life, my work life, with my little faux Dutch door folding center page so I can always see my task list no matter what day of the week I'm on. And my final spread for July here. And moving in to August with my olive theme. I love this theme. I love the combination of the gold outlines and the more realistic watercolor olives. 
This was a really fun theme to do and I was really happy with how it turned out. Tried a little bit of a different habit tracker here this time. And of course my rolling weeklies again. Pretty boring and straightforward. You can see some days I have a lot of stuff to write, I have timelines, and then some days I don't have a lot going on or I have so much going on that I don't even have a chance to write it in my bullet journal. There's a lot of variation and that's why I like this setup because I have the space if I need it, like on a day like this, and if I don't need it, it's not too big of a deal. And the final spread for August. I still love how this turned out, this pattern page at the end and this quote here. I might have to revisit a theme like this in the future because I just loved creating this one and using it. Moving in to September with my celestial moth theme. This one was another fun one to do. I really enjoyed painting the moths. And of course that watercolor, the shininess, always a big fan. Another different kind of habit tracker here. It's funny, I'd given up on habit trackers for a couple years, I feel like, and then this year, all of a sudden, I started getting back into them again. I guess with everything we've gone through in the last couple years, I've needed extra motivation to keep up with my habits. Moving through my weeklies. Still have some pencil marks on this spread that I never erased. And I dropped some water on this tab. You can see that water spot. And our final spread for September. Moving into October with my graphic snake theme. This one was another fun one, sort of outside my comfort zone, a bit of a challenge. Figuring out how to spell October with a snake's body took me way too long. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit how long it took me to figure that out. Back to the circle trackers here, and I love how this spread turned out. The little baby snake is my favorite. Getting into my weeklies again. Looks like this week was a little slower <laughs> until the last day, or I just didn't write very much in my bullet journal. Actually, I'm pretty sure this was the week I was filming my November plan with me, and that took me several days of filming, and I didn't do anything except paint all day long, so that's probably why. Getting to the last week of October here, lots of tasks going on. And my final spread there into November. This was such a fun theme to do, even though it took me ages. I just love this window so that we can either be inside with our foxes or outside looking in. And this was the first time that I tried doing this cutaway so that I could create art that I could enjoy all month long, no matter which weekly I was on. And I found I still had more than enough space in my weeklies, even cutting a chunk off the bottom. I guess that's the benefit of being in a B5 size. I have a little bit more leeway for the design of my spreads because I have a bit more space to breathe. And I just loved being able to see my artwork all month long. In the final week of November and that final spread there. Moving into December, the final theme in this bullet journal, the Aurora Borealis. This one was so much fun trying a new medium, painting with acrylic for the first time. I was surprised by how easy this technique was and how nice it turned out. And of course, I tried something really different with my weeklies for December. I did this really small monthly and had my art on the side and put full weeklies on a half page with a task list for the entire month. As you can see, things are very messy. Plant mess is chaos, so I do my best, but things become a bit of a mess. And 
And then we have swatches I did when my collaboration launched to show the exclusive acrylographs in my collection, the gold that is permanent, and then my four exclusive colors, Rust, Fern, Evergreen, and Picheline. And then I have a couple blank pages which I saved not knowing if I would need them for anything. And of course, wouldn't be my journal without a little bit of a washi or post-it graveyard at the back. Some of my old video card washi pieces there. And a piece of paper with some <laughs> notes on it in the pocket. And that is it. That's my whole journal. I can't believe we're already going into the new year. It feels like I just started this bullet journal like a month ago, not six months ago. It's really cool to see how thick my journal has gotten with extra pages that I've glued in and just painting on pages and all the areas that are indented for my tabs from the top. You can even see where I folded all my weeklies in there. If I'm not holding it, it barely stays closed. <laughs> but I think that's so cool. I would love to know in the comments down below which of these themes was your favorite. And thank you for hanging out with me for this video. Thank you so much to my patrons for your support. Y'all are the absolute best. And I will see all of you very soon tomorrow for Plantmas Day 8. Bye, friends.